Hello, everybody. February 26, 2018, 10.09 a.m. And this is just a quick follow-up to that massive earthquake we had in Papua New Guinea, the 7.5 to 7.8. Still, there are um, conflicting uh, size issues going on with the how big this thing actually was. This chart here says 7.5. What I want you to look at is all the aftershock earthquakes. There's been over 42 earthquakes above 4.5, including a 6.0 and another 6.0 in this mess here uh, within the last 24 hours. Now, there's been some articles released um, on this situation. This is actually another app I use for earthquakes. You could just see every one of these is above a 4.0 earthquake. And uh, on the thumbnail, you can see, actually I have uh, some pictures brought up here. Let's look at this one. You can see all but one of these is uh, Papua New Guinea. These are all aftershocks caused by that big 7.5 to 7.8 earthquake. All of them had potential tsunami information involved with them at one point or another. They, I think they've all been canceled, but that's just very crazy that this amount of aftershocks have happened. They said the initial earthquake lasted about 40 seconds. And it did do damage. There is pretty significant damage that went on. There's uh, tens of thousands of people, apparently, that live here um, in this circled area that I'm circling with my mouse. You may not see cities, but there's a lot of different in, uh, tribes and stuff and people that live out here. And you can see right here, this is actually a uh, uh, the top of a volcano here. It's not labeled on Google Earth, but that's certainly an old uh, extinct, if you want to call it volcano. And then if you go over to Google Earth, and you back out a little bit, you can see Papua New Guinea is just surrounded by uh, volcanoes. Now, I did know this in the past. I didn't mention it in the other video, but we had another 6.0 earthquake right around this area yesterday and another 5.4, 5 5.8 in this area over here. So there is a lot of movement going on on this uh, fault line that runs along this area here. Again, lots of volcanoes. And then the articles that I'm pulling up here show uh, there were some massive landslides due to this. They have sent out a, um, a disaster assessment team into this area of Papua New Guinea just to see if they could find anyone that has died or other damage. There's been roads co uh, totally covered with landslides. And again, a lot of people just live out in the wilderness in Papua New Guinea, so there are people out there. Uh, this is a grocery food store that was totally destroyed by this. Um, again, they said the shock that and the tremors last up to 40 seconds long. Imagine a shake lasting for 40 seconds. Uh, there's some some quotes here from different people on the island, <clears throat> and again, they are just talking about the uh, the current damage and the assessment team that they have out there currently that they are using to try to find either people or other major damage that's gone on. They literally have to drive the, all the roads. This is a picture from that other website as well. In fact, I think it is the same picture. Yeah, it looks like the same picture. But that uh, two different angles of a major landslide that took place. And um, I've not seen any uh, recorded deaths yet, which is very good. But they are uh, talking about the volcanoes in the area. So they are worried about the volcanoes. The depth was around 35 kilometers, which also is good. Any, sh any more shallow, the more damage you get. That's how earthquakes work. But they are concerned about the volcano situation in that area. And again, 42 probably more now in the last 24 hours of 4.0 and over. That's all these right here. This is all within a small area of Papua New Guinea. You can back out and see it's in a little cluster. Uh, and then the 6.0 in Indonesia. And then this one was a, let's see, uh, 5.6 uh, south-southwest of Kokopau. I guess you could say it. I probably butchered that too. But um, thankfully, there have not been any reported deaths. Again, it's very hard to tell in these areas, in these uh, remote areas of uh, different countries where people live out in the woods and stuff like that. So you don't really know yet. So they literally have to travel these entire areas while watching out for aftershocks. So I just wanted to bring that update to you guys. There's been a lot of movement going on in Papua New Guinea. Uh, right after that 7.5 to 7.8 earthquake, and they are still going on. My earthquake app was going off all night long. Uh, you can ask my girlfriend. She was about to go nuts over it. The thing just keeps making noise. I don't know how to turn it off. There it goes again. It's in a box, too, because I'm getting ready to travel, and uh, the thing just keeps going off. The sound is muted, and uh, I don't know how to turn it off. So 
I guess I'll be listening for the rest of the day, but I do have a weather update on the way. Uh, we do have a tornado situation that more than likely will go on uh, beginning March 1st, guys, in the same area we had it two days ago. So I will have that in a few hours once I get back to uh, northeast Pennsylvania. I'm about to travel now, but I want to bring you this update that uh, there has been a lot of damage, a lot of landslides, and hopefully no deaths reported with this earthquake, but yet very, very significant, and the tremors are still going off. So again, that weather update is on its way, and I will talk to you guys soon. I hope everyone has a great Monday. Take care.